Welcome to Air Engine Research once again. Uh, if you've been following my videos, you know that I've been working on on this three-cylinder, what I call an oval air engine, trying to solve some problems that I have about it doesn't run fast enough and there's absolutely no way I can get in and get to my valve and rotary stuff to time it. If you see in here, it's so tight that uh, it's difficult to, to even get to anything inside of there. And that's where the timing has to be done with these with these rotors things. You can't do it while it's running. And so far, I have not been able to figure out how to do it. So for now, I'm just going to set it aside and work on another project that I started back in 2008. I'm not getting any younger, and I want to get at least one engine <clears throat> that I can put in my car. Um, I have a, a six-cylinder that I have for backup in case I can't come up with a, a good design. My goal over the past 15 years has been to replace the gasoline motor with a compressed air motor that it would at least run pollution free. Now, some of the requirements that I've put on myself in making this engine is it has to be designed and built by myself. It also has to be as simple as possible and it has to be completely mechanical, no electrical requirements. And also, I don't want to have to have any uh, lubrication or cooling or anything like that to cause problems or make it more complicated. And it also, it has to be self-starting, which any three-cylinder or four-cylinder will be, because there's always one cylinder in a position where it's running when you shut it off. So when you turn the air on, it automatically starts running. One more requirement that I put on myself is that it has to be where I can adjust the timing while it's running. That's, that's critical. But before I start talking about my, my next design and project, I want to thank all of you longtime subscribers for following along over the years and more or less supporting me, I guess. And for any new subscriber or first time viewer, if you want to follow along and see how things end, if you'd subscribe, you'll be notified each time and you can follow along. Now for my new design, it will have four separate what I call modules. Each module will have a valve head a cylinder that screws into the bottom of the valve head and a pushrod piston attached to a ring with an internal drive shaft rotator. The modules will be positioned vertically on the drive shaft, one behind the other in a straight line. Each module is going to have a separate airline and will run independently, but it's going to be in series with others to uh, turn the drive shaft together. Since there are four modules, there will be some overlap, so the engine will always be ready to start as soon as the air is turned on. Now the, the valve head opens and closes the proper valve whenever the module swings back and forth as the engine runs. Individual valves can be adjusted from the top while the engine is operating. That's, that was one of my major uh, requirements. 
the actual air consumption is going to depend on the cylinder size and the operating pressure. Um, I'm thinking about 125 to 150 PSI. And each piston stroke is 2.185 inches. Now I've spent a lot of a lot of time over the past couple of weeks just looking at it and going back over and going back over the design. And just yesterday, I realized that I had to move the exhaust port from the front to the left end. So it won't be blocked by another valve head module. I haven't really begun yet to make any of the parts, but as soon as my aluminum stock comes in that I ordered, I'll probably start, and hopefully that'll be tomorrow. Uh, this is going to be my last go at trying to make a compressed air engine. I will either use it, or I will have to put in the six-cylinder that I built some years ago. I've been reluctant to do that because it's all iron and really is very, very heavy. So I'll be much happier if I get to use the four-cylinder orbital engine that I'm going to try to build. So for now, that's where I am. I'd appreciate you subscribing and follow along.